Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to do a quick video on the display of doors and windows for existing elements. In my template, where I do everything in color and then set existing elements to grayscale, it exposes a weird shortcoming of the way doors and windows are scripted in Architect. And that's going to be seen on the screen right now. If we look at a door it looks like it's you know a bunch of fills we got the casing in the frame and then we have the door leaf unfortunately the way this is scripted is the casing in the frame are cut fills and the door leaf is a cover fill so what that means is if i change my renovation filter you can see here everything is nice in color and then when i set to existing plan now it's going to override the existing elements Oh, sorry, new construction. It's going to override everything where all the cut fills will become gray, but the door leaf is a cover fill, and so that does not become gray. Let me show you what happens if I try and solve this by going to my existing elements and saying override cover fills. If I do that and I hit OK, now not only does the door leaf turn gray, but any cover fills in the plan that were uh, existing also have a gray background. So that's no good. So let me go back and fix that. Manage rules, existing elements, turn that off. So for the longest time, the way I solved this is I went and I selected an existing element like this to edit. And then I went over to floor plan and section. And then I went to the door leaf and I changed these to gray. So I changed that to 4094 and I changed the other one to a 92. And that's what I'm doing right here. We can see here, I've, I've manually changed those. But what that means is if I go to existing plan, this door now looks wrong. So I get it to look right in new construction but it's wrong in existing plans. Whereas with this, if I don't do that, I can get it to look right in existing plan, but new construction, it's wrong. There's a similar issue here where if you look really, really close, uh, this gray and this gray are different colors. I don't want to dive into that, but it's a similar situation where uh, there's just two fills acting differently and it's annoying because of cut and or cover and cut. Fills. Well, realize there's a solution. I forget if it's ARCHICAD 24, 25, or 26. Uh, we can now use renovation status as a graphic override criteria. So what I did is created two new rules, and this is now in my template. For existing doors that are on the existing, I have an override just for the cover fill, and then I have the same thing, existing windows override just for the cover foreground fill. If you do the background fill, it will mess up the display of the sill. But so I created those two rules and then I added them to three graphic override combinations that I need. And what happens now is if I go, instead of default zones empty old, I go to default zones empty. There, that's now perfect. And if I go to existing plan, uh, mm. interesting. So I'm going to need a different graphic override for existing plans to return that off. So I'm going to go fix that. I don't want to re-record this video, but I'm going to fix it in the template so that now the graphic override will control that. So basically I'll have default zones existing and uh, maybe I'll do one for a uniform line weight. Probably not, because I only really need an existing one. Uh, i got to think about that. But anyways, there you have it. I can now use graphic overrides to properly control the display of my door leaves in ARCHICAD. Thank you very much. Uh, as always, uh, download the template. It's on my website, shunum.com. It's free if you want it to be. Uh, like, subscribe, do all those YouTube things that helps with my YouTube metrics. Thank you.